what's up everybody happy monday we are out here today we've got something a little different than just regular garden update i know y'all probably getting tired of them every monday so what we'll probably do is just probably postpone the garden update till next week nothing really going on anyway um we are having some blossom rot issues but i think that's because the month of may was dry and then we got dumped on so we'll, we don't really have there's not really much going on with it other than that this changed anyway um anyhow there's beautiful m here's my ugly mug he's not ugly let's go show y'all what we're into today right yep All right, so we're down here at the bag garden, and it's midsummer. It's actually almost the legit middle of summer right now. Pretty close. Anyway, we want to plant some strawberries this fall in the flower bed, up where all the roses and the hummingbird feeders, and just kind of spread some around to kind of make have a bigger strawberry patch. Right. Yep. So we have runners just going everywhere. So we're gonna take the runners off of here as you can see they're growing and we're going to take them we're going to put them in some dirt get them started and then go transplant them somewhere else so i'm gonna let em have the honors which honors do you want you want to put them in dirt or you want to cut i want to put them in dirt then i guess em a film all right so the other day I wanted to experiment and I just cut a few of these off and tested them to see if I could straight put them in dirt. And it's just been so hot, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna move, we're, we're actually gonna cut some more and uh, put them in more of a controlled environment where we can control just to get their roots started before we transfer them to the rose garden and everywhere else. So basically what I'm gonna do is we've got a cluster here of runners going every which way in this garden. So I am gonna to try to untangle some of this and get me an idea on what kind of runners I got without damaging the plant because like I said, they are, as you can tell, they're going every which way. And we wanna kind of thin this out and, and really wanna start some plants and get us a big garden going but that may be easier said than done so give me a few minutes let me see if i can't get this, some of this untangled all right so i found a runner and what i want to do is trim back in of course you're going to get ants on you there's ants in here and what i want to do is we got two runners coming off i want to get rid of that one and I kind of just want to go back to about right here and just trim that off and put it in here. We're going to continuously, good Lord, ants are bad in here. There's strawberries though. They love strawberry plants. I'm getting all over me. But they absolutely love strawberry plants because I guess the sweetness of them. So, let's see. you're going yeah right there got you but we're going to keep doing this until i get completely covered in ants and uh no until we get enough to get some started to transfer them and actually they kind of grew together there i think yeah right there pink Any of them just wiped out? Not exactly. All 
yep anyway that's basically it just keep going until you get as many as you want to get started and then go on from there all right so i'm going to show you this real close i got dizzy standing up good god get the camera away from me all i do is go in here cut that much off let that heal up then this little shoot off of this side we'll take that see them brown nodes that's where your roots going to come out at we're going to lay it in a tray and this is your main one coming off the main plant you don't want to trip trim that too far it's still got nutrients in there it's going to get it going for a few days and then that one i don't know is going to make it look how bad it is but we're going to put it in there anyway and see if we can get some roots out of it but i'm gonna get these ant i'm gonna get these ants off of me and then uh we're gonna take this inside and get started all right so people have asked me what we use for our seeds and our starters and stuff they said they'll never work because they're clear and sun can get in there but they always do work pretty well so don't always believe everything everybody tells you we've been doing this for a little while and had great success with just dollar pack of dollar cups from the dollar store to start your seeds in but we're doing plants today so we're still going to use these now one thing i do do is i'll take a drill bit and just drill me some holes i'm trying to do this and film at the same time so y'all be patient okay hold on let me put the camera down and i'll just put me some holes put me some holes in the bottom let water escape so we're gonna i'll do that with all of them then we'll put some dirt i think we got enough dirt hope we got enough dirt anyway if not we'll come up with something anyway yeah i'll be right back Guys, that fan is nice. If you haven't got one of them yet, I'd strongly suggest do that because we pack it to the garden and everywhere. Anyway, it's not an ad for that. We did get it sent to us from the company, great company, but yeah, you know, I'll try to find a link, put it in the description. Anyway, what are we done? I'm gonna go ahead and line my cups up, and I'm gonna. Never mind. I was gonna make it pretty, but. Oh, why you would worry about making it pretty? Exactly. So I said, never mind, I was gonna make it pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna line my cups in, up in here to get them ready to put dirt in. They don't want to come apart. Make you another tray. I know, I'm gonna have to get another tray. Bloop. The biggest reason we do this is we want to expand our strawberries. More food preservation, guys. More food preservation. We got onions drying out over here. We got ceiling fans in here. This is kind of our little, I guess what you could call our makeshift greenhouse. It's our front porch, but you know, it works. Except for in the wintertime. It gets cold yeah, out here. Yeah, it is. Um, okay. What are you going to do now? So this is really, really, really dry. This is just some potting mix that we have left over from when we were starting to see here. But I'm going to try to get a lot of the clumps out of it first because it's clumpy and it's really dry. All right. Get me a bowl full here and just start dumping them.
I know we don't have 29 cuts here. We only got. I got more. 24. I got more. Okay. Okay, go get them. Anyway, remember what we talked about a series on the way to homestead. One of the key things you're going to need on a homestead is knowledge and learning stuff like this. You think we ever done this before? No, but we're learning experiments, trying things, watching videos, watching YouTube videos, knowledge, reading, which I don't like a lot of this her department. Reading, knowledge. So we're gaining knowledge as we prepare to adjust to kind of off the grid living type deal. Hopefully within the next couple of years. Fingers crossed. Chances are too that we could fill out this and this doesn't work either, but That's right. we learn from our mistakes. I watch videos that don't mean I, the only way I, I learn is by doing stuff. Hands on. Hands on is the only way. So you get some knowledge at doing this and kind of an ideal, but until you actually physically try it, you don't know if you're gonna fail or succeed. And when you do fail, what do you do after that? Don't give up, try, try again. That's right. Try, try again until you find something that works for you. Look at those little flyers. Those are forget-me-nots and I don't remember what those ones are. You planted them for Yeah, but I don't remember. The only ones I really cared about was forget-me-nots, so. And they start blooming very prettily. The other ones I hadn't really seen. And guys, this plant here, I know it looks a little, a little rough. rough right now, but that you gotta realize that plant is probably older than me. I'm 38 years old, and that was my grandmother's plant from a long time ago. There ain't no telling how old this vine is. And it was my grandmother's, and it was my mother's, and mom handed it down to us, and we've been keeping it alive ever since. It just it ain't looking too good, and I don't know why that is. I gotta. I'm gonna need some fertilizer. The dirt changed out or something. Probably, I, I probably need to add some plant food to it and see if that perks it up. I got some, some, so. But anyway, just want to share that. All right, so these are gonna be kind of like float beds, right? Kind of, yeah. How we start our seeds, we put, we keep non-chlorified water. We we remove the chlorine out of it. In the bottoms of these. Let the dirt soak up to the bottom instead of pouring on top. But when we're planting, we're gonna pour, we're gonna wet the tops of them as well. So Em's gonna do that with the squirt bottle. Brand new spray bottle, guys. And Em already had to tape it up. Oh, you got the end I like that first bit of water you put in there, wasn't it? Yeah. No quality stuff anymore. Nobody cares about quality. So. All right, guys, make your little hole. Pretty much just gently set it down in there. Gently. Don't want to cover it up too much. That's basically all you're doing. Just start to take root. Where'd you get that little fancy tool with? Thing it came with a kit that we had got a long time ago. I don't remember which kit. Just a kit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna wanna do all them. It's pretty neat though. Didn't it? Don't you have something else too? Yeah, there was a little fork. I don't know where it's at. It's like a little fork type deal. Hmm. They come in handy. Mm-hmm. Basically, you press don't the dirt around it. So yeah, press the dirt around it, try to get it held up. But you, you're just trying to get it to take root here. It's not going to live its eternity in this cup. It's you're just wanting the roots to come out. So you really don't want to bury. See that part right there? Where my finger is. You don't want to bury that. You just, like I said, you're wanting it to take root. And then, in about hopefully about a week or so, we'll do another. We'll do kind of like next week's video on Monday. Hopefully you can plant we'll be able to plant these outside and take y'all along for that right mm -hmm. so hopefully we're learning guys learning 
I watched I watched YouTube videos. This little tool has um, inch depth things on it, which you can't see it because I, even I'm having to really look. But like one, well, these are centimeters on this side, one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeters. It's inches on this side, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So basically, kind of a cheater. Kinda. It might be a little bit more of a cheater if you can actually see it though. True. Should put it in d darker numbers or something. Something. We got them all planted, guys. We actually ended up with how many cups extra? Two. So we ended up with two cups extra. Should be alright. Now. What we'll do is we'll keep these trays right here full of water and we'll come out here about once a day and just kind of three three is wrong kind of spray them with some water but usually this method here will keep enough almost like a float bed we'll keep enough moisture going up that they should take root right yeah the dirt's just got to take it all in it it usually takes it maybe an hour to soak up all that water but once it does, the dirt stays pretty wet. Yeah. So, and they'll sit right out here. Usually, we get plenty. Of, we get like right here in, on this porch. We'll get about six to eight hours of sunlight a day from the west. So they'll be fine out here. Get started. Once they get good and going, we'll take them to the rose garden. And uh, oh, you only found one. There you go. Two cups. So. We'll take them to the rose garden. We'll get them started out there. And hopefully by fall, by the time the frost comes, they'll be sustained enough that we can just cover them with uh, straw and they'll they'll overwinter out there. Right. Mm -hmm. Just give them a little like. All right, ta-da. Did you say ta-da? I said ta-da. Okay. She said ta-da. Anyway, so that's done. That's kind of what we had in mind. Um, you want to show me part of the garden real quick? I don't know. Would y'all like to see some of the garden? My plants are doing pretty good. I guess we'll go show you parts of the garden. Be kind of a long video for Monday, but we did miss Friday, so. All right, Em, you want to do the garden tour? Yep, and now for the rest of the show. Here's our eggplants, they're doing good. Some of them are finally starting to put like little domes on. So that is exciting. These over here that weren't looking too good. Um, well, you'll see. <laughs> Ta-da, they look like they're actually gonna put on something. Even including the morning glories looking good. Look at that. It's always really pretty going up that thing anyway. What's next? Next is our bags down here, which you can kind of see from up here. But we do have some herbs coming up. Don't remember what we planted in them though. I think this one was dill. But yeah, there's some herbs coming up in that one. There's a few starting to come up in this one here and there. This one might take a little bit longer. Our carrots are still little. Our cabbage looks awful. Another herb that came up. And. Nothing. There might be something. I don't know. And you already seen them. Yep. Beautiful blueberry. things. Blueberry. And then blueberry. All right. And as always, when we come down here, we start off with the watermelon. You can see some pretty big babies in there. Tomatoes. And, yep, tomatoes. They've been getting blossom right when they turn red. So you might see some on the ground. Like I said, it dumping. It dumped like nine inches on us right after we went a month without rain. So I think that's what's causing them. So generally, we call it, call it from a calcium deficiency, but you know, it did what it is. I dumped the calcium on them this year, so you know. And these are behind because they're the ones that came from oh. seed. <clears throat> Got one but there's in a there. cute little one in there. In our okra. okra. And yes, I know, Kenny, the limbs need to be trimmed off of them. <laughs> I have not had time, so just understand I hadn't had time. 
our tomatoes. Our heirloom tomatoes. We're just running through this quick, guys. These need to be pulled. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do anything. Sweet potatoes. Looking pretty good. We got to pull some weeds out of them. Peppers. Peppers. Elm has picked off some peppers. Yep. So, I mean, I guess the only thing that might be different is our pumpkins down there has come up. The fairy tale pumpkins came up. Right there. This batch of gourds didn't yet. But. This batch did. This batch did. And down here. Now we're going to be getting the, the uh, fence on them pretty quick to let them climb. The okra, Japanese beetles are eating it up again. Yep, but they're starting to put on They're okras. starting to put on okra. Their flowers are always so pretty. I don't want to. And again, Kenny, I know they need trimmed at the bottom. Just bear with me. I had time. And then we got our lima beans down here that are starting to put on pretty pods. Yeah. And of course our lima beans. Purple holes that are pretty Look on at pods. these. These things are plum full. Green, Green beans. beans. We'll need. We got to pick some more tomorrow. Yep. This is jack lanterns. Cucumbers. Again, we got to pick some more zucchini. Got to pick zucchini squash down there. Still looking pretty good. They're starting to get. They're starting to get squash bugs. Sweet corn is, what are you doing? Oh, I was just gonna go look at those other things. Sweet corn is, the first round's pretty much done. The coons have, raccoons have come in and just devastated what was left. Second round, they're starting to turn brown. Silts are, it will not be long. Field corn, getting huge. Putting on ear, good ears. Like I said, guys, quick. Sunflowers, volunteer. Remember, they're putting out blooms. What else is up here? And the only other thing that is the, up here, our radishes, I don't think are coming up first. Was that radishes? Beets. Beets. And our mustard? But our mustard, our mustard is. We got to get down here and pull a few weeds in them. Other than that, they're looking good. Mm -hmm. Starting uh, later in the week, we're going to end up pulling some of the first round of green beans because they're pretty much done. Yep. And we're going to go in and plant some turnips and different things like that. So we'll, we will bring you along. We may end up starting to put out more videos. I don't know yet. We'll just wait and see. Anyway, <laughs> we actually got another video we're filming right after this one for Friday. Mm -hmm. So hope you all enjoy that one. Cherokee purple tomato looking fantastic let's go over here that's pretty much all the garden that's what the garden looking good all right guys so we stepped here in the feedlot to end this video um, guys we hope you enjoyed the what we're doing with the strawberries and the garden tour it's a quick one I apologize but kind of figured y'all might be getting a little tired of them yeah so we kind of wanted to uh, do something different on Monday. Still have gardening, but do something a little different. It's getting, you know, redundant. That redundant for y'all as it is for us. So, so we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Still gonna throw garden tours, especially as the fall garden comes about. But y'all have seen the big garden a hundred times. It hasn't done much right now. Just we're waiting. Kind of in the, you know, the first part of it shutting down. Second part of it's just starting to kind of get get going real get good. going real good so we're in a little bit of a lull um, that's if this blossom rot don't continue with the tomatoes if it does we may not have any tomato cannon but i really hope it does stop because i got so much so many plans for them yeah but that's part of it anyway guys we don't want to keep you all very much longer because we know it's been a long video anyway mm -hmm. hope you enjoy fridays it's another kind of gardening but we're actually going to be working on a do you remember what we're working on? Composting system? You may speak a little louder because they don't have a mic. Composting system. So we're going to be working on a composting system. And uh, kind of kind of show you all something that I've kind of done some research on. And it's going to fit for us instead of having a big pile. Mm -hmm. So be looking forward to that Friday. Don't forget Hump Day Live coming up on Wednesday. We missed Saturday because, you know, we had little birthday party to do for our son so yeah. so yeah we missed saturday but we're back this week 
Any other news? No, nobody can pick up. I got some. Like, share, subscribe if you hadn't. That's not news. It's always news. <laughs> like, share, subscribe if you hadn't. As always, guys. We love y'all. Stay living country, and we will see y'all again tomorrow on our cooking channel. <laughs> what am I making? Zucchini bread. <laughs> so, so stay tuned for that too. Anyway, love y'all. Stay living country. See you next time. Bye.